Okay, let's do a simple example here um, using Newton's universal law of gravitation. Um, so we have two people, um, one 50 kilograms, one 75 kilograms, and they're standing about a half a meter apart. Okay, and we're going to calculate the force of gravity between the two of them. Okay, all the masses in the uh, universe attract each other, so there should be some force between um, this person and this person. Okay, so our equation for the force of gravity uh, is g, the gravitational constant, uh, m1 times m2 over r squared. All right. Now, g, the gravitational constant, we can look up in our book or in the front cover, and we find it that it's this. Um, with units of Newton meter squared over kilogram squared. And we plug in our masses here, and they're just simply the 50 kilograms and the 75 kilograms, so 50 and 75, and the distance in between them, um, 0.5 meters. Okay, 0.5 meters squared. Remember to square the uh, bottom term here. Uh, we plug those in. And we get a force of 1 times 10 to the negative 6 newtons. And so this is actually a very small force. Okay? In comparison, um, the force of gravity from the Earth for, say, the 50 kilogram person, the force is m times g, the acceleration of gravity. So 50 kilograms um, times 9.8 meters per second squared uh, gives us 490 newtons. Okay, so there's about eight orders of magnitude difference between um, 4.9 times 10 to the 2 um, compared to 1 times 10 to the negative 6. So the gravitational force between the two people standing here is very, very small. Um, and that's just because their masses here are uh, very small compared um, to the mass of the Earth, which is much larger, much larger. 